Hey everyone. So in this video, I want to show you how to watermark your graphics. Okay. So this is a very, very important part of the party process. Okay. So um, we have graphics um, already made for you, but you just have to take one extra step and watermark them. Doing this um, keeps us all able to keep working our businesses online um, and keeps us out of Facebook jail. So this is kind of how it works. I'll do a little explanation and then I'll show you how to watermark your graphics and, and why this is important and what it means. So a big part of being a stylist is we do a lot of posting. So we post in our VIP groups, we post in our parties and, um, you know, we post on our personal pages. So we do a lot of stuff on social media. Now we have some graphics groups and nail fees groups that we um, can get graphics from, like other stylists out there create graphics. I'll create a graphic and share it in the group. You create a graphic, share it in the group. Other stylists take that graphic and then share it. Now what happens is when you share another person's graphic, if enough people are sharing this same graphic over and over again, or if you just take corporate's graphics and share it over and over again, what happens is Facebook sees this this graphic that's being shared and shared and shared and starts marking it as spam. And then what will happen is say you're like the hundredth person to use that graphic, they will mark it as spam and throw you or someone else in Facebook jail. Now what Facebook jail is, is you basically lose privileges on Facebook. You won't be able to comment or like or send messages, things like that. And so it really hinders your ability to work your business when you are in Facebook jail. So to, to prevent that from happening, making your own personal graphics are key. And you do not have to start from scratch to do this. We already have some graphics made for you. Now, if you, the graphics that we have for the party template, they're all with team intentionally polished branding colors. So if it's not your thing, if you don't like the colors, or if you want to make your own graphics and you're feeling up for it, do it awesome. It's great for you to have your own graphics that you can use for your party. Um, so with that being said, let me share my screen and, um, I will kind of show you what I mean, um, by all this. So if you go into, um, our mock party group on Facebook, it's the intentionally polished mock Facebook party group. The very first post has this link. For graphics to download. So you click that link, takes you into this big folder, and this has all these graphics, okay? So what you need to do is download all these graphics to a computer or to your phone. Now this is a little bit of a process, but what you do is you just download them. So you can, I wonder what you do. Whoops. Oh, I just reorganized it. Sorry, my little screen here is in the way. Here we go. So click on this. Now you can download the whole folder by clicking that button. Okay. So download the whole folder. And then what you do is um, you can either do this on your phone or on the computer. So I'll show you quickly how to do it on the computer. Then I'll show you how to do it on your phone. So to do it on your computer, you go to this website called Canva. Okay. Now, on Canva, what you do is you go, you have to create an account. It's totally free. Go to create a design and then you can do like Instagram post or Facebook post. I do Instagram posts because those are square and I like squares. So then what you'll do is um, you will go to, it'll kind of bring you to this and they have these templates. Okay. Well, what you can do is you don't actually need a template. You can just go to uploads and what you'll do is you'll upload an image. Okay, and so then go to the folder that you created, um, that you downloaded everything like this, and pick a, um, go ahead and pick a um, graphic. So um, I'll pick this graphic right here. Okay. So then what you'll do is you'll just drag and drop this into the square. Whoops drag and drop it into the square and kind of size it. Totally okay. All right. 
So then what you need to do is to make this a brand new graphic, what you need to do is watermark it. And what that means is you either add your logo or you add some more wording or something to um, make it a new graphic. So what you would do is just click on some text, add, add some text, and then you would change it to be like, you could do your Instagram handle, which mine is at poly.gage, or actually it's intentionally polished. <laughs> um, so you could do your Instagram handle or you could do your website name. Like you could just do like I have polygage.com. And then what you would do is you could change the font to kind of be, you know, either your branding font or, um, sorry, let me highlight this really quick. So then you would go up here to change the font. Now my font that I always use is Montserrat. So I type Montserrat, I would change it to that. And then um, just kind of size it how you want it to be sized. And then what I do is I just move this into like a discrete place, like the corner or, um, you know, you could do it like up here or some people I've seen them do their, um, let's see, I've seen them do it like sideways like this along like the edge of a thing of a finger or something like that. So you just need to add your watermark in there. Okay. And then what you'll do is, um, also if you have, so for example, say you have a logo design, like you already have a logo uploaded, then what you can do is you can um, upload it as an image and you can just layer it on, layer it on here. And um, by adding the logo, you are making it a brand new photo, okay? Because you're kind of, um, you're just making it a whole brand new photo. So you can kind of just figure out, hmm, where do I want to put it? and just put it there to make it a brand new photo. When you add to a photo, add some font, put it on a different background, all of that, you're making it a brand new photo. And what that is doing is, um, what that's doing is it's um, making it, it's got a whole different coding, whole different like number system in the computer. So Facebook can't mark it as spam, even though it looks like the same. When you add that watermark, it becomes something different. So then you just go download it, and then what you would do, want to do is make a whole new folder with your new images, okay, that are specific to your party. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. And yes, you'll have to do that with every single image that you use. If you ever take an image from, if you ever take an image from the graphics group, um, if it's somebody's graphic and their watermark is on it, then you need to keep their watermark on it because you're, they made it for your use. Um, a lot of times people will give water, like graphics where you can add your own watermark, then do it. But if it's like a special graphic where they put their watermark on it, then those are the, those are the graphics that you use um, that you don't put your watermark on. And yes, you risk, you risk having it be a spammy photo if you don't do anything to change it. One thing that you can do really quick is, or here, let me just share again, just so I can show you. If you do get a photo and then somebody else wants to, um, or sorry, if you do get a photo and it has a watermark, so say you get this photo, it's already watermarked. Um, what you can do is you can, you can do exactly what I, what I just did here. So um, I'll take off my watermark. What I did was I just put this photo on a white background. You know, I could make the background a different color. Um, like I could just say, okay, I think I'm going to make it gray like that. That makes it a different photo without adding in a watermark and taking credit for someone's photo. So you can do that as well and download it. Okay. So that there's that. The next thing I want to show you is word swag, how to do it on your phone. So if you are doing it on from your phone, you'd go to your phone and get the word swag app. And um, it looks like this. Um, word swag, there we go. So what you'll do is you'll 
you'll just take a photo. So you'll have all the photos downloaded and then you add a photo from your recents. Okay, and then what you'll do is you'll click a photo and it comes up on, on there, there. You can see down here, you can crop it. So I always just do a square. Okay, so I did a square there and there's just a nice nail fee. So you click next and then it takes you to where you can add text, okay? And it's really fun. You just kind of play around with all the different text. So you double tap it and you just say, maybe. So then you type whatever you want. Um, say your, your logo or your email, your Instagram handle, whatever. So I'll just say Polly Gage. You can even just do your name. Then you can move it around. So like, it's kind of hard to see on the screen, but you just move the text around. Let me make it like a more bold um, text so you can see. <laughs> I wrote Polly Gaga. <laughs> um, so you use your thumbs to like make the font bigger and just one thumb to move it around, okay? So then what you can do is you can kind of place it where you'd like. I'm gonna place it over my finger and then really small. So you can see I just put it like right there. Okay, so that's like an, a watermark that you can add. So just do your name or your boutique name or your business name, whatever you wanna call it, and just put it on your photo somewhere, okay? So you've got to do that with all your party photos. So you download them all onto your phone or computer, then go into Canva, upload them all, or in Word Swag, upload them, add your watermark, save them, and then save them in a folder. You can save them in a folder on your phone, save them in a folder on your computer as your party photos. And those are the photos that you'll schedule into your parties, okay? So it takes a little bit. It might take you like an hour to sit down and do it, but it is an hour well spent because you do not want to go into Facebook jail. We have all been there, learn from our mistakes, and watermark your photos. All right. Thanks, guys.